Mmm, nice and sweet and the sauce is so good. Welcome to Thai Spy Kitchen. My name is Kritia and I live in Bangkok. We are going to make this, the center dish of the dinner tonight. So we are going to make the uh, prawn garlic. Okay, so this will give a flavor of a little bit of uh, a salty flavor. Okay, let's look at the ingredient. This menu is so simple, prawn garlic. So what you need is a good size of prawn. So this one I have uh, a good prawn. So this is about 25 pieces per kilo. So it's a nice size to make a prawn garlic. This one I need only 10. And you need a bunch of garlic. And the sauce, so simple. You just need one tablespoon of the uh, oyster sauce, the one tablespoon of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of uh, ground pepper. And that's it. Okay, now let's do it. Okay, here we start with the garlic. The way I do here, you know, I don't use a grinder. I just use the back of my knife. So in the Thai cuisine, we use a lot of the cleaver. So I just, you know, bang the garlic with the back of my knife. And then I just chopped it. This is uh, so simple because in Thailand, we use a lot of garlic in most of the dishes. So it's a lot easier if you have this uh, cleaver in the kitchen because it's so handy. We use a cleaver in, in almost everything to cut, to dice, or you know, like to bang on something hard or any kind of the ingredients. Okay, so with the garlic, we finally chop it. Once we crush it, we chop it, chop it, and make sure that uh, the garlic is come in a you know nice small pieces. If you like more garlic, you can add more. But in this recipe, I'm using about ten pieces of the a nice size of the prawn. So I take about half cup of the garlic. So make sure that it doesn't have a too big chunk. So you chop it, not too thin and also not too thick. So you still want to feel a piece of the garlic. It will give you a nice texture when you deep fry it because you like the garlic to be nice and crispy and you can still feel it when you bite on it. So make sure that you know, it just, you know, in a good size, you know, when you chop it. Okay, just simple. All right, so this is done. Okay, we just set it aside. Okay, now let's go to the kitchen. I just add about two tablespoons of the uh, cooking oil and make sure that you turn on heat on low because you don't want the garlic to be burnt. You can put the garlic right into the pan. You don't need to wait until the oil gets hot because if the oil is too hot and you put the garlic in and then the garlic will come burnt easily. Okay, just keep the stirring on it on the low heat. And make sure that you keep stirring, otherwise the garlic will be stick to the pan. Garlic start getting brown, okay? So I like to uh, fry the garlic until it gets golden brown. So the trick is you don't wait until it start getting golden brown. You, when it start getting brown, then you take it out from the uh, stove because it will get more brown outside. Okay, almost done. I will do it a little bit more like 30 seconds. Okay, now I need to drain the oil out. I just want to have a dry, crispy fried garlic. 
Then I turn on heat on high. Wow, looking nice. Okay, prawn is not, it uh, doesn't take long to cook. Okay, so it's about halfway done. And then I will just put the sauce in. Okay, cook a little bit. And I will just put the sauce in. Wow. Looking nice. Everything looks good today. Wow, look at that. Okay. Okay, almost done. Okay. Start getting cooked like that way. Okay, so that would be a little bit on the side. Okay. All right. Good now. Okay. And I will put oh, the sauce. Soy sauce. Sugar. And oh. Okay, and then mix it. Okay. Wow. It smells so yummy, yummy, yummy. Very good. Looking so, so nice. Okay. Wow, I smell garlic and I smell uh, Pepper. Wow, so good. Let it cook a little bit and then I will push it up. Okay. Okay. Now ready. Okay, good. Okay, it's all cooked. Turn off. Once I have all the prawn on the plate, so I put on top of the fried garlic that uh, we just did earlier. Okay, we just spring on top of the fried garlic. So this is, a, this is really, really nice. Make sure that your garlic is nicely fried and, you know, golden brown, not burned because you want to feel the crutch of a nice, good 
garlic. Here I put a little bit of the uh, cilantro because I think it really go well together with the garlic. Looks very yummy of the uh, prawn garlic. If you are a real fan of seafood, I recommend this name, prawn garlic. Okay, let's try. It's so simple to make, you know. Just like a little bit of sauce in and put the prawn in and fry on the pan for like five minutes, I think. Wow, okay. Oh, very juicy. Oh, look at this. Look at how nice it is. Oh, wow. Mmm, wow, mouth watering. Mmm, nice and sweet and the sauce is so good. Wow, I cannot wait. So please, this is a very yummy, delicious recipe. Thai Spice Kitchen, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. I'll see you again. Bye bye.